Hi guys, and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here. Um, something I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, today I got a, well actually yesterday I got an unexpected surprise in the mail. And it was from a viewer that would like to remain anonymous. And uh, what he did was he sent me a, a gift certificate card for Sears and Roebuck. And uh, apparently he watched the video where I had the blowout and knew I was going to get new tires for the rig. And what he did is he, uh, he gave me a gift certificate for Sears for a compressor, a small compressor. And he also attached some notes to it and told me exactly how to go about purchasing the compressor. So the, the compressor price was $159.98. And what he told me to do was go online and join the uh, Sears Club uh, thing that they call the um, Craftsman Club price, whatever. And basically all I had to do was put my name in and my email address, and that entitled me to their club price, which in fact, for this compressor, was $99.99. And then he also added that if I joined, What's going to happen is, as an incentive, they're going to send me a coupon worth $10. So I said, wow, this is great. And I went over to Sears, and sure enough, um, the price was $159.98. And I gave them my email address, and they looked it up in the computer, and that dropped the price to $99.98. And I showed them the coupon, which I printed off on my printer, and I got another ten dollars off, so I got a compressor for hundred and eighty nine dollars yeah, I'm sorry, for eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And I thank you so much. You know who who you are out there. I won't mention your name, you told me not to, but um I, I just appreciate it so much. And you know, you talk about things coming back when you're good to people and you, you give. Uh, years ago I used to own a barbecue restaurant and one of the things I used to do was um uh, fundraisers and we would do pig roasts and such for things like uh, hospice and uh, other organizations and sometimes also for private uh, fundraisers for people who lost their home in a fire or had really bad things happen to them. Happen to them. So I guess what they say about thing, things coming back in different ways is true. Um, I guess those things never expire. So yes, thank you so much very unexpected, very much appreciated, and you, you hit the nail right on the head, a compressor to take care of my brand new tires. That is so nice of you. So, let me show you what we got here. There it is. That's the baby right there. I think the box is a lot bigger than what the compressor actually is. But as you can see, it's a direct drive, oil lubricated, pump, three gallon air compressor. And this is perfect for, for the RV. It's not very heavy, and obviously it's gonna come into to play probably every time uh, I move the vehicle after sitting for a while. Wanna make sure that the air pressure is correct in the tires. Um, very portable small it can be you know moved around to the tires that I need and such so this is awesome now one of the things that I like about this and I'm glad that it was Sears is uh, it's an oil lubricated compressor and if for those of you who don't, don't know the difference between a oil lubricated and an uh, oil less compressor the oil lubricated compressors are usually much more quiet than the airless and also the oil uh, keeps them well lubricated which makes the uh, life of the compressor much longer than an airless. Airless are permanently lubricated when they're manufactured and what they use is a Teflon co coating in the cylinder housing where the piston is and uh, yes it works but yes it's also susceptible to wear and when it wears uh, it, it reduces the efficiency of the, uh, the compressor and also calls, causes them to fail um, significantly sooner than one of these guys here. 
So this is more heavy duty than an airless. And if you're going to get a compressor, I recommend that you get uh, an oil lubricated compressor. It'll last you a lot longer. It'll be a lot uh, less noise too. So that being said, they're easy to maintain. There's a sight level where you can see the oil. Uh, I believe it also shuts down if it isn't a low oil situation. And it's very little maintenance. It only takes a little bit of oil, not much at all. So let's get uh, moving and open this baby up. Alrighty, well I tried to position this so you could all see it as I get to see it. Open the top of the box here. It's like Christmas in June. God, what an unexpected surprise. This is awesome. Comes with some of that stuff there, with the yellow uh, coiled up hose. simple straightforward all right so let's take a peek at the direction you know a lot of guys don't look at directions but I do today okay that's what you see when you first get it stop so they don't want you to do anything till you read this Fill with oil before use. Okay. And here we go. Let's see if we can find English. Air compressor, three gallon, one horsepower, oil lubricated. All right. Should have brought my glasses out. Parts and features. This installation and assembly. All 
All right, I'm going to have to go get some wrenches. I'll be right back. All righty, looks like the first order of business here is to remove the um, air intake cap which comes with it and this is going to be discarded so we got to remove this and then we're going to install the air filter so far so good there's our little air filter and I don't think we're going to have to use a wrench to tighten it but um, they gave us some tape and it didn't really mention as to whether that tape should go on there so let me take a look alrighty looks like we can hand tighten this and there's no tape or anything that goes on it so get it nice and snug that ain't going anywhere and then uh, it says to fill up the oil here tag and we're going to fill that oil to the red dot and it says it takes approximately three ounces so let's do that must be childproof Oop, cut myself already So, let's add that. Just so you know, there's just enough in this bottle to fill it up to the red dot. So that's done. And we'll discard the little bottle. Or maybe I should hold on to it and put some spare oil in there. <coughs> and then we replace the, uh, the little cap. It's got a little breather on it. There's a hole in it. So just make sure you put this in straight because it's plastic. You don't want to cross thread it. And that looks like it. So, I guess the only thing we have to do is plug this in. Um, just going over here. That's where the thing goes in. This should be. Hmm. See if that works first. Yep. That snaps in there so we want to leave that off there because on this position it won't let any air out and then we'll put our hose together there and I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get another one of these to put on the end of that hose because that hose I believe the way they've got it set up just screws into this air chuck but if we're gonna have a compressor, there goes the Teflon tape. If we're gonna have a compressor, we want it to work with some air tools too, which I happen to have. So uh, that's the way I'm gonna set it up. But why don't we see if this runs first, okay? So let's plug her in and go from there. Oh, forgot, we gotta put the handle on. Looks like a pretty simple job. Doesn't go there. Oh, there's where it goes. Right there. And it faces the other way. Okay, that's all there is to that. So let's get those bolts. And uh, it's got a lock washer with it. I can't believe I'm drawing DNA already. Look at that, huh? Unbelievable. Looks like this only fits one way. Yep. Looks like a half inch bolt. We'll try that first. Half inch socket. And. I don't want to 
almost kill it. But I want it snug. Okay. That's on there nice and solid. Put our tools away so we know where they are for the next time. And uh, I believe we're all set to crank this up. So let's put it. There's some plastic over these gauges here. I think I'll just leave that on there. No sense taking them off. They're not hurting anything. And uh, these come off. Big rubber things here protecting it. And one tells you the tank pressure. And this one tells you the uh, pressure of whatever you're doing, like filling up a tire or something. Um, but looks like a flimsy little thing here. I think I might have a better one to replace this with down the road. But let's see what happens. Let's plug her in. Okay. that I need to uh, finish the uh, hose connection over there so that I can use air tools and such and basically what it is we're gonna put this part in here and connect it to that hose but then we're gonna get another one of these so we can quick connect to our tools and our tire inflation uh, tool and everything else so I'll be back shortly just gonna take a ride over to uh, Lowe's and pick one of these up so see you in a little bit. Don't go away. All right, guys. I'm back from my little shopping spree. Uh, $3 for that little fitting there. And what I'm going to do is put that on the end of this hose that came with the compressor right here. And that's going to go um, with this other one here on the other end, which will plug into here. But now I'll be able to use the quick disconnect for my other tools. So let's get started. Alright guys, um, I let the compressor sit for a while, uh, see if it was going to leak at all, and it leaked down ever so slightly, which is kind of normal, and it's been over two hours. Okay guys, I just wanted to mention one thing. Um, I put the oil in this brand new, as you saw, and I'm probably going to run it maybe an hour total time, and then I'm going to drain that oil and refill it with fresh oil. Reason being is when, when anything with pistons is new, uh, any of the metal filings or whatever you want to call them, microscopic in size as they may be, are going to get in the oil. Just like breaking in a car, you want to put fresh oil in it, you know, after a very few miles to get that uh, contaminated oil out of the system. And then that second oil will last for a longer time and then change it one more time and you're sure to have good oil. So just wanted to mention that. So let's give this puppy a test with some of the air tools I've got. Okay, uh, let's try with an air chisel. All right, that pumped right up to 135 pounds. I've got my regulator set, uh, so it's right up there. 
and this is an air chisel which I mentioned uses quite a bit of power let's see how it works this thing should start up I won't be able to talk so let's see tool was an air chisel worked good it's going to take a little patience because we don't have a lot of air here but guess what it's better than doing it by hand let's see how our air grinder works and you saw the air grinder work very well it's going to take a little patience to let it build up pressure again but hey it works so let's try our air pneumatic uh, uh, ratchet see that uh, the air ratchet worked fine too. Going to take a little patience. Again, it's a very small tank, so got to expect that. And now for the biggie, our impact wrench. You know, come in handy if we have to change the tire. Let's see how this works. <laughs> needs that very high pressure to break the lug free. After that, you don't need as much pressure. And you know what? It still beats having to mess with a, with a, uh, a lug wrench manually. But we'll try it. It probably will work. If it doesn't, we're no worse off than we were. But the other do, uh, air tools do work fine. So in closing, I just want to uh, thank again that uh, donor that uh, sent that gift card. Uh, you can't imagine how much I appreciate it. Uh, it was such a surprise. It really was. And you picked up on it uh, so quickly. I mean, the fact that I needed a compressor, I knew I did, but I never thought I'd uh, get a gift card for one with all the in instructions that actually saved a ton of money on the purchase. So thank you very much. You know who you are, and I really do appreciate it very much. And for the rest of you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again soon. Bye.